you really don't have time to be doing this interview right now, right? True, true. Matt Leffingwell is the vice president and general manager of RV Solutions in Kearney Mesa. He's been in the RV business for 25 years. He says he's never seen anything like this. So we've literally had a wait as many as six people deep today on a Friday. Uh, on the weekends, it can get pretty hectic. That scenario is playing itself out at RV dealerships across the country. Sales were already doing well. The RV Industry Association says they're up nearly 11% from June of last year, but they've really taken off since the pandemic hit. It's not just the vacation, but even just traveling. If they're gonna go back and, and stay in New York for a month to visit family, they don't wanna fly. And how else do you, do you do it? Another indication the pandemic is behind the jump in sales, Matt Leffingwell says they are seeing a lot of first-time buyers. But whether it's old hands or newbies, Leffingwell says the numbers are off the charts. Probably somewhere around 100, maybe 125 uh, percent. Our inventory level right now is about a little less than half of what we would normally see. From land to sea, it's the same situation over here at Harbor Island. The business of boating is booming. Come May 1st, the second they opened up that bay, it was just phones ringing off the hook. Tom Bossinger is the director of sales and marketing for California Yacht Sales. He says sales are riding on a wave of demand. It's got to be 200, maybe 300 percent. It is significant. Just take a look at their website. For the most part, those little tabs in the upper left corner indicate boats that are sold or a sale is pending. Right now, it really doesn't matter whether it's a $20,000 boat or a $200,000 boat. The second it comes onto the market, we've just got five, six people calling the first day it's on the market. Whether it's the big blue sea or the open road, getting away from it all in the age of COVID-19 has meant a bonanza for the folks that sell you what you need to get there. John Carroll. KPBS News.